And now, your first alert weather. It's pretty nasty looking over to Pocatello right now with some of that uh, sleet, if you want to call it that, and a grapple pushing through it. Some of it may be hail. You may end up uh, seeing some really quick downburst of rain as well. 19 mile an hour winds and gusts beyond that and 47 degrees and that's that cold rain feels like it's about 40 and you can see the ice forming on the camera now we've gotten through one system we had a pretty decent day yesterday with 60s for highs we're dropping out like a bomb uh, and it goes over like a pregnant pole vaulter we are not seeing any relief for this nasty dreary uh, snowy and wet afternoon we've got some uh, snow showers that have developed into the Pocatello area and right across Chubbuck and they pulled up from 84 and 86 pretty good swath of, of mixed precip. We get into some rain uh, and it really begins to click with each other. The cold and the, and the uh, uh, warm air, they, uh, you hear that thunder, you get that thunder snow and that's where you get that uh, upper level disturbance and you get that grapple and hail. So we're watching this uh, system push through and then we've got another one on top of it. So we've got wind advisories pushing up the interstate. We've got winter weather advisories into our higher elevations and gusts up to 50 miles an hour for the highlighted area there in the avocado green. We're seeing winds right now 25, 26 miles an hour up the interstate into Pocatello. We've seen gusts already of 43 into Burley and about 34 into Pocatello. You get into northern Utah and you've got a high wind warning. So as this clips us from the south up, yeah, we got more wind to contend with for the rest of the afternoon. We're at the 30s in Rexburg and IP. It's 37 in Jackson, upper 40s into Blackfoot and Pocatello. And I wanted to show you this. It's like a big spider. The, the lows that are off of the uh, Alaskan Bay up there and these waves that come off of it. Here's one, here's two, and then there's another one. And so we'll just get swiped with this like a cartwheel. So it's spinning in a counterclockwise direction and it just whips thing, you know, whipping nay nay. Uh, we start to see showers off and on. Mainly today is our first alert weather day, but we get that, that rough and tumble weather. We've already seen a thunderstorm roll through and drop a bunch of hail into Iona and South Ammon. And then we've got that mixed bag of precip that will linger on into tonight for Rexburg and Sugar City. We get into Driggs and Victor tomorrow and on over into Lincoln County, Wyoming with a, a scattered shower chance. But high pressure, high means dry. So we clear this out for tomorrow and bring back some snow showers into tomorrow night. We're going to see some rough winds here. You get into the afternoon, Michael will be here. But we're tomorrow at 27 mile an hour winds along I-15 and up 20 and just really uh, gut wrenching movement around here to add in any kind of precip with it. It can make things really tough. And you know, if hail hits you going 30 miles an hour, that's like a pellet gun. Uh, we're going to see some of this accumulate into the mountain areas, Driggs and on into the southeastern highlands. By the time we get into late Wednesday and early Thursday, I'm expecting some mountain accumulations, but a dusting for Idaho Falls at this point with the movement of everything. It's going to be in the mid 40s for the afternoon. We're still in the teens and 20s tonight, so everything freezes. 47 for Rexburg with a wispy shower on top of you. We're down below the standard in Stanley at two below tonight with cold air that settles in behind all of this, and it's going to be in the upper 40s for most of the Snake River Plain, and then we bottom out into the mid 20s for tomorrow morning. Eight days out, we continue this theme of below average temperatures. We finally get back to warming up into Friday, Saturday, and look, a 60 on into Sunday. Yeah, that's not even a passing grade where I came from. 47 into Rexburg, it should normally be about 57 degrees, so we're 10 to 15 degrees off at this point with the forecast, and into Salmon, you've got some rough weather today, slushy, and 22 tonight. Uh, 43 into Jackson, you'll have some windy conditions and we keep these shower chances mingling with us on into Thursday as well with mid 30s for highs. Pocatello, I just can't pull the plug on this thing yet. Uh, we'll reprise some of the snow chances and rain mixed in on into Thursday and we'll get that next little wave over the top of us. But you see how it's spinning and it just comes through and just whoop, 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 you know, slaps you around. 48 in Idaho Falls for the afternoon. It'll be 26 tonight. Pretty sloppy weather. Back to y'all. All right. Thank